Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so I just kind of popped on a minute just to say hi and um, to say that basically I know it's because I've done my um, level three uh, aromatherapy, well complementary therapies actually, um, and I've just done my final for my crystal healing course and I realised that the information out there is vast and, and some of it's absolutely fantastic. Where aromatherapy is concerned, there's a lot of information that is very easily um, out there and it's wrong. Um, not, it's not that it's just wrong but it's unsafe as well. And the reason being that over time, aromatherapy has changed. It has changed a lot and it's become where there's a lot more research and we're able to know a lot more and I thought it would be nice I guess to just share my knowledge um, I enjoy I enjoy doing that I enjoy learning people and, and stuff but I just thought it would be helpful if I got my knowledge out there so that's where this channel's leading because at the minute it's not really doing anything but it is leading there. It's just me deciding on a time appropriate to record and where I'm going to start. I'm sort of planning it all out before I do. Um, I love my crystals, as you can see, and hopefully I shall pass my um, my course. Now, regarding crystals, I apologise. There's some children somewhere playing, but regarding crystals, as you can see they come in so many different ways it's unreal really and for example if we take a quartz <coughs> that's my dog Dougal if we take a quartz and then look at the quartz and then you take a citrine and nemesis well they're all inclusions basically that's what they are they're inclusions um you know You've got your citrine that comes from your amethyst, amethyst from citrine. They're all connected in one way or another because they come from some sort of a crystal and it's like iron inclusions and all different things. And I don't really want to get into that because it's a bit deep. But when we buy a crystal, we usually find we buy the one that we are drawn to and that is the best way to do it. And you don't need a lot. You don't need like 20 million crystals at all. If you only ever have one crystal your whole life or two, it doesn't matter. As long as you connect with that crystal's energy. You see, you have to awaken your crystal first once it's bought. Which means you have to find the energy and interlink it with your energy and work with it and love it. Um, they, crystals don't work on command. You can't command a crystal to do something. You you do it in your subconscious mind. So obviously meditating with your crystal, um, going to spiritual healing sessions with your crystal, it's all really good for the crystal because the crystal wants to be loved. It wants to feel that love. And once it feels that love and connection to you, you'll be able to tune into the diva of the crystal. Some people call them a diva, a deva. There's all different ways of like pronouncing it. And it really doesn't matter how you pronounce it, guys, as long as you know where it is. Um, and a lot of people say, oh, that's pronounced wrong. You've got to pre you don't have to pronounce it any particular way at all. You really don't. Um, as long as you connect to it, and as long as you thank, thank it for its help and see it how you want to see it. Don't be pushed into like, well, you should see it this way and it should be that way. No, do you know what? You have your own mind. It can be whatever you like. I always see it as the crystal's central, the crystal's heart that I'm sharing, I guess. Because it's easy for me and I see, um, I'm not a psychic and I'm definitely, you know, I'm not, I'm not a psychic and I'm not a medium. I, I'll never claim to be that or anything like that. I see energies. I work on energies and colours. So that's where I see. Doggy. No. My dog's been being a monster. Um, so this is a desert rose as you can see it's raw raw means it's just how it came out of the ground 
and this again this is rough raw obsidian it's literally how it was pulled up from the ground these are clusters that have grown in the ground and again this is citrine you can get this from uh, taking another crystal and boiling it to the correct temperature but we'll obviously go into that in more detail later on this is citrine and it's a cluster but if we take a polished one tumble stone they call them so this is a polished one this is after it's been tumbled and you know so obviously as you can see there's a difference this is raw and this is rough or raw whichever way you want to put it this is rose quartz everybody generally knows what rose quartz is um then we have these these are eggs um at one point when i can actually come out in the sunshine get all the sun on them you'll see all the growths inside the eggs so that's an amethyst egg and they actually call them dragon's eggs because of the shape and this is a quartz one you can see all the growths in there obviously they're selenite this is a cherry quartz cherry aura quartz and you can't see it now because the light's not quite right for me to show you but inside it has layers and it kind of reminds me of a twill on the inside because it's like all layered again We'll get a tumbled one we're going to light this but if you put that tumbled one to the light if you put it to the light when it's sunny you'll see all the different growths inside and then again when you've got a cluster it's the same you can put it to the light and when you put it to the light you'll be able to see all the different growths and the different ways it's growing and you can get crystal ball ones um I only have this one as a crystal ball and I then I have an actual, actual crystal ball, which is not, you know, it's just plain. It's, um, and then you have your pendulums and this is just a little one. Um, it is rose quartz. The inclusions at the bottom are from a high temperature being obtained to, to it and, and bringing out the inclusions. Um, I have quite a few pendulums though and I always end up getting them tangled up. That's just me. But yeah, I guess I just wanted to say, well, that's where the channel's going. We're going to start learning. Um, this is meant to be an aura quartz. Angelic aura. We're going to start and learn. Um, that's why I really don't want to go into too much detail just yet, because it's more of an introduction, really, to say, hey, this is me. So yeah, my name is Claire. Um, I'm 36. And I am, I guess I'm a beauty therapist, level um, 3, completed. I'm a complementary therapist, level 3, which includes reflexology, um, aromatherapy. And I also have quite a few other skills that you may be interested in, as in spiritual healing, Reiki. I'm just doing now Reiki for animals. I don't you know the other side of Reiki, but I wanted to do it for animals. And I'm not saying I'm an expert. Mm -mm, definitely not. And I will never become an expert. However, I just want to share. <laughs> I just want to share information that I know, you know, and, and just so that people can have the knowledge out there that's needed. That's my desert sage. And you'll always find there at some times I've got different uh, crystal rings on and, and bracelets and things for my energies. So yeah, hopefully... The next video will be sort of more put together, um, definitely more organised, and it will be titled as a lesson one, and I think we'll probably start with the aromatherapy lesson one, and then we'll do crystal lesson one, and I'll upload them both, so there won't be no waiting for this one and that one you know there's no point in that in waiting around we might as well just get to it but yeah this is just really an introduction it's saying hey this is who i am this is what i want to do and i just want to share i really really just want to share and like i said the next one that i upload i'll definitely like <laughs> title it obviously which one it is um and be more organized so yeah blessed be
thank you and hopefully next time it will be an actual proper organized lesson. <laughs>